do, Ski guys? It's Fellow 34 back with another episode of Super Science. So, Suicide Squad hit theaters this week, and it was kind of under fire by some of the critics. Over here on Super Science, we thought, you know, why not respond back with some fire and dive into one of the hotheads of the squad. El Diablo is a DC character who is a member of the Suicide Squad, who is also a legacy character whose powers are passed on to different hosts. There have been various El Diablos, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about Chado Santano and how pyrokinesis works. So, a quick description of pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis is a term used to describe the ability of some characters to generate and control superheated plasma, fire, and or lightning. Something of note is that some characters can only manipulate fire and not generate it. Well, in the comics, Chato Sentana is actually able to generate fire when he lets his El Diablo persona take over. So for this episode of Super Science, we'll be exploring not one theory on El Diablo, but two possible theories, a biochemical theory, and then another theory based on physics. All right, let's get to some of this Super Science. From a chemical point of view, fire is simply rapid oxidation. Oxidation is a combination of oxygen and another element or molecule into a compound. Fire is a release of heat energy from oxidation when it occurs rapidly. If you look closely at fire, it's really a mechanical process that releases a lot of energy and the energy propagates the same mechanical process in the surrounding matter. Let's say that we have a piece of paper. Paper is essentially organic carbon-based fibers. In organic matter, everything but the carbon can burn. And at the right temperature, even carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. By the way, CO2 is formed in your body after the cells can bust, but in such minute levels, even though it is very hot at the point of transfer, it doesn't set the body on fire spontaneously. So when you set a piece of paper on fire, I'm not gonna... I'm in a house that I like. What you're actually doing from a molecular level is infecting it with a mechanical process that forces the molecules of the paper to combine with oxygen and then emit enough heat to break the surrounding molecular bonds and force them to combine with oxygen as well as the carbon ash that falls to the floor. Diablo's field is an electrostatic process that starts a fire without making the initial heat. It starts the first part of the chain reaction by simply breaking the bonds of combustible materials and combining them with oxygen. Then it lets the attendant heat maintain the combustion. Also, the field would be able to reverse and shut down combustion Combustion, allowing El Diablo to control the fire and prevent him from burning himself. When he holds the fire, despite the fact that there is nothing other than his skin nearby that burns, El Diablo actually uses water, the sweat from his body as the source. The electrostatic field takes the sweat and then breaks it down into hydrogen and oxygen. Then the hydrogen burns forming water again and that in turn can be converted into fire again by the field which happens in a continuous loop. Of course, the laws of conservation of energy would force him to eventually stop this loop because he would need to stop and recharge. To control this process, Diablo's nervous system would need to be enhanced by a unique electric field that both can start and prevent the combustion process. Since it is hooked up to his nerves, this would allow him to control it as if it were part of his body. Diablo's nervous system may possibly have an artificial material with the properties containing ultratrons, subatomic particles that are neither electrons, protons, nor neutrons, but having atomic weight similar to phosphorus. This would allow it to have characteristics like phosphorus, but not actually having to be phosphorus. This material would burst upon contact with oxygen and form X oxide. However, when X oxide reaches a certain heat, it releases is the oxygen atom. This sets up a combustion loop. That means each of Diablo's pores are outputs for X oxide. It fires the substance away from the body so that he himself will not encounter the great heat as it burns. In addition, there may be some modifications to his physiology. Now, from a physics point of view, the ability to create fire is quite amazing because we as humans, well, we can do it, but not by using our mind and applying a certain amount of energy. For example, like rubbing wood together to create a spark, the kinetic energy that you put in reaches what is known as the activation energy that creates the flame. The law of conservation of energy is a law of science that states that energy cannot be destroyed nor created but only changed from one form into another or transferred from one object into another. This means that flames aren't just coming from nowhere at all, he isn't just creating it. I actually have my own theory. My research isn't thorough but I do believe he secretly spits rat bars quietly right before he uses his attacks. Is that your tour or your girl's tour? <laughs> The energy already exists and El Diablo can simply just move this energy from his body into particles around him and make them vibrate more violently creating a flame. Taking a look at humans, our body is warm all the time because we have the right temperature for a lot of reactions to take place inside of our body and keep us healthy. El Diablo is actually able to access that heat and put it into surrounding particles. This would require a lot more focus and skill rather than just manipulating a flame as it has already reached the activation energy and transferring the energy wouldn't be as difficult as making our body temperature reach the activation energy. This is why some characters can actually create flames whereas others can only manipulate already existing ones. In summary, El Diablo has two possible ways of creating a flame and controlling it scientifically. One grounded in chemistry and another grounded in physics. 
Thank you guys so much as always for checking out this episode of Super Science. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Hybrid Network if you have not already. Also, feel free to check out my channel in the description down below. Are you guys excited to see El Diablo in the new Suicide Squad? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you saw the movie, let us know what you thought about it because I'm really interested to see what some people thought. This is pre-recorded, so I have yet to see the movie. However, if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on Suicide Squad or my fellow Hybrid Network co-workers, be sure to check out the channel because we'll definitely have a review in the next couple of days. As always, I'm your host, Fail 34 This is Super Science, and you just got educated. I'll see you guys next week.